It's a woman. It's a woman driving. She's blinding me with her flaps. That blinky blink. Seems really dark in here. No power? Well, that's fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. I know it's not. It says no cell phone use at counters. Yeah, it messes with my pacemaker. Just my luck. I came here to buy 70 trucks. <laughs> I have to order brand new 389 Peterbilts that you'll never see. Help. Yeah, why am I parked in the handicap stall? Why don't you all watch me walk around and tell me how graceful I am? Okay, we got um, gaskets, o rings, whatever you want to call them for. Do you want to put them in the back or here? Oh, we do have a bunch of stuff in the back. I gotta go return. We're gonna return that first. It's right by Costco. Anyway, we have um, these for the fuel caps because mine is leaking. And we decided, let's replace tinies too for good measure. And we decided, since we have new tires on my truck, let's buy new shocks for the front. So that's what we did. I think we already bought new shocks for the rear on my truck, didn't we? Or did we not? Oh. We have too many trucks. I can't keep track anymore. So we're at Costco and it just occurred to me, I haven't filled you guys in on what we're doing today. Uh, it's Wednesday, it's dispatch day. Um, there's some backstory on that. So I'll go into that a little later when I'm in the truck. Uh, but right now, like I said, we're at Costco. We're gonna have some hot dogs here for lunch. We gathered up some supplies for the house and the truck this week. Um, we already went to the Peterbilt dealer, picked up some parts that we needed, returned another part that we didn't need. And uh, my truck is currently sitting at the window tint shop obviously getting window tinting done um i was going to do that originally myself but the wind had other plans for me so now i am paying somebody to do it let's see what it looks like Outside. I got another sticker from my Baza. So for the longest time since we bought this truck, which is a very long time, the automatic kingpin release here in the cab didn't work. Well, it does. It works, but the problem with it was is I'll show you. That cylinder wouldn't retract. Therefore, you couldn't lock the fifth wheel when you were trying to recouple to another trailer. Because that line was not exhausting. So I temporarily did a little exhaust trick here. So yes, it's got a little bit of an air leak for 
five seconds or whatever it takes for this fifth wheel to uncouple, but at least the cylinder retracts now. So Alex will be able to use it and uh, she'll be able to hook up to another trailer because that was the problem. This cylinder come out, push on that lacking, la latching mechanism and it would not allow the jaws to couple because that would keep pressure on that, not allowing it to close or on the kingpin, these jaws. So now we got that temporarily fixed and uh, I'm satisfied with it. What did I do? Well, I just put a little exhaust hole in the airline. <laughs> so yeah, when you hit the button, it's got a little bit of an air leak, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't work because it works just fine. And it's not an air leak for a specific amount of time, only for the fifth wheel to release. So technically it's supposed to have an air leak to be able to release that cylinder. So now we have one. Like I said, just because you do something wrong doesn't mean it doesn't work. New shocks. Every time I do steer tires, I put on a new shock. These are Gabriel gas shocks. Not the worst shocks in the world, but the problem with gas shocks is you just don't know when they let loose because you can't see it. This one is still good. See how it extended out? But it's cheap insurance. Well, cheap. These shocks aren't cheap anymore. They're probably like 90 bucks a piece. And these are pack our oil shocks that we put on. Being that these are brand new tires, I'd rather put new shocks on it. So now we're going to go to the other side. Alice is going to go off to work here today with it. So she's taking a nap right now, resting up for a night run. So uh, I'm over here doing a couple more things to the old truck. Like you guys saw the uh, fifth wheel. I got to figure out what the hell's going on with this because shouldn't do that i'm gonna take this fender off and try to tighten that bracket up some more but um yep i got the big boy out for these because sometimes these get pretty stuck and uh three quarter is the best way to go we did the hard side first by the way done so we also got these these are all rings as in gaskets for those now this one doesn't seem to be too bad that one over there on the other side has a little bit of a problem keeping a tight seal when uh when they're to the top and that happens when it's really hot out and you need to vent because these are vented tanks so um yeah the pressure well pressure it's not really pressure it does it's uh just it's splashing around and the seal is basically well it's no longer a seal so we're going to replace those real quick which is an easy job huh so i got the fender off sloppy mechanics is my take well let's let's uh zip her on up with that three quarter inch
Ooh. Alice is going away dinner. Hope she cooks something as good for me next week. You guys missed her honking the horn because my lens was dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> So fast. She's gonna go get that eight miles per gallon. Bye, Alice. We all miss you. As in the viewers, too. I'm talking about you guys. Miss her, damn it. Have a good trip, babe. Love you. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on.